good morning dear students in this class we shall study about the chapter two bun two groups this is a first chapter in your part second of your eighth standard mathematics children in this chapter we will discuss about cube some interesting patterns of the cube and cube roots of a number children now come to the cube we hear this word cube in your geometry cube is a solid figure he is having the length breadth and height three dimensional figure cube is a three dimensional solid figure he is having length breadth and height see children this is a cube cube is having length breadth and height all are same measurement length is equal to breadth breadth is equal to height height and the volume of this geometrical figure we can calculate it by using the formula length into breadth into height here all are equal you know instead of l we can write instead of l b is also l h is also l volume of this figure is b is equal to l q volume of this q is l q now let's come to arithmetic q is a number q is a number suppose n is a q is obtained by multiplying the number by three times n is a another number is multiplied by three times it be a perfect q now we can write n into n into r as n q we have to pronounce this as a q n q n is equal to n q for example we take here a is n now this n value is 2 now let us check out n is 8 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 8 is a cube number is obtained by multiplying the 2 by 3 times that is a perfect cube children why we are multiplying the number by 3 times this is because of this reason solid figure cube is a solid figure it is having the length breadth and height it is a perfect cube the finding the volume of this cube is like this Here the cube is having length, breadth, and height all are in equal measurements, so b is equal to l cube. Here in the same way, in our arithmetic also, a cube, a number that is obtained by multiplying the sum number by three times. The number is multiplied by three times, it gives a perfect cube, perfect cube number. Children, now let us see here. In the table one, the numbers one two become one. That gives the value one. Two is multiplied by three times. It gives the cube eight. In the same way, up to ten is given here. Ten cube value is thousand. Look at children. These black circles are but yourself. All of you cube seven cube eight cube nine cube values fill up yourself. See here the cubes. Numbers are obtained. By multiplying the number by three times. See the table two also. Some cubes are given there. Some cubes numbers are given there. From these two tables, now let us learn about some interesting factors of cube. Some interesting factors of cube. See children, one cube is one. Two is the number that is value eight. Three is twenty-seven. Four is twenty sixty-four. Five is one twenty-five. Six cube is two hundred sixteen. And up to the last, ten cube is how much? Thousand. Now come to the table two. Eleven cube is thousand three hundred. Thousand three hundred thirty-one. See children here. You have to observe only the unit place number, unit place of this number, and also unit place of the cube number. See, this is one. This number cube ended with one. Now observe, this number is ended. 
the seven unit. Four is eight with four. Five is eight with five. Six number two number eight with six. Seven number is two eight with three. Eight number the cube is eight with two. Nine is the number the cube is eight with nine. Zero is the number the cube is eight with zero. Zero. From this, what we conclude that your S children. Yes, we conclude here the number number one. The cube number is unit place is having also one. The number n with two. The cube number is a with n with eight. The number three. The cube number is n with seven. The number n with four. Cube number is also n with four. The number is n with five. Cube number is also n with five. Six number n with six. The cube number is n with six. The number is having seven in the unit place. The cube number is n with the three. Observe here and next. Eight. Eight is the number. The cube number is n with the two. Cube number is n with the two. Look at the table two. All of you children, look at the table two. And observe here. The number is n with nine. The cube number is n with nine. Next, the number is n with zero. The cube number is n with zero. All of you, look at here. The number is n is having the one in the unit place. The cube number is also is having one in the unit place. And the number is n with the two. The cube number is n with eight. Three is number. The cube number is n with seven. The number is four is having the unit place. The number is ended with four. Five is the number is having the unit place. The cube number is having the five in the unit place. Six is having six in the unit place. And seven is the number. The cube number is ended with three. Eight is the number and the cube is ended with two. Nine with nine. Zero with zero. Now here observe and we have to memorize one thing: two and three. These two numbers are different values, different unit place values in their cubes. And now come to here: seven and eight. Here look at children. Here vice versa is possible. Two is the number present in the number. The cube is having eight. Three is ended with in the number and is having ended with seven. And similarly, and taken reverse direction, the number is having seven in the unit place. Three is having in the two. And the number is ended with a. The cube is ended with two. See children. From this, we can guess the unit place values in the Cubes. For example, now two hundred and forty-three is the number. Two hundred and forty-three is the number. This cube value, the number of two forty-three, the cube value of this number is ended with this number. Cube value is ended with which number? By using this conclusion. By using this conclusion, we can easily say the number is two hundred and forty-three. Three present in the unit place. Three present in the unit place. The cube is having ended with which number? Seven. The value is what are the place? But the value is having seven in the unit place. Unit place. From this conclusion, we can easily guess. Which number is coming in the unit place of the cube? In the place of the cube. All of you write this. Children, now let us do some problems depending upon our conclusion. See here, the first one is three thousand three hundred thirty-one is given. Look at the number. Number is ended with which one? Yes. This cube is having one is in the unit place. Unit place value. Unit place. Now. 
number is how much? 1. In your place number is 1. Next, now come to the second. The number is ended with A. The number is ended with A. The square, the, the 2 is ended with which number? 2. Unit place number is 2. Unit place number is 2. Next, look at for 149. See the table 2? Yes, the number is having 9 in their unit place. The cube is having also 9 in their unit place. Also 9. Now let us come to 4. Here the number is ended with 5. Unit place number is also end with 5. Fifth one. The number is ended with 4. The unit place the cube unit place number is also 4. Yes, 77 is the number. The cube is having 3 in their unit place. Which number is in their unit place? Yes, 3 is present in their unit place. Now come to the seventh one. The number is ended with 2. Unit place number is 2. Unit place number is how much? Eight. Last one. Fifty-three is the number, and the cube number is eight. With cube number, unit place number is seven. Cube number, unit place number is seven. From this, we conclude that one is the number, and the cube is having one in the unit place. Okay, children. All of you, write this. Notes. Children, all of you write note 1 like this. Note 1, the table. Number unit place is like this. The cube unit place number like this. All of you write this table in your notes. I will give some time. I will give some few minutes. All of you write this paper in your notes. Yes. Okay, now come to the table first and second. Observe here. The odd number cube, it gives the odd number. Even number cube, it gives the even number. Look at the table 1. See, 1 is an odd number. And 3 is an odd number. 5 is an odd number. 7, 9. Look at their cubes. 1 cube is 1. 3 cube is 27. 5 cube is 125. And 7 cube is, write yourself. Look at here. The cube, odd number cube is also odd. Now let us check give even cubes. 2 is a even number. The cube gives 8. 8 is also a even. Now observe 4. 4 is a even number. The cube gives 64. Now let us check 6. 6 is a even number. The cube gives 216. That is a even. Now from this, what we can do here? S. Odd number cube is a odd and even number cube is even. Even number cube is even. Now write note 2. Note 2 is odd number cube is odd. Odd number cube it is odd number. Third note even number cube is. Even number cube is even. Even number cube is even. Write this. Children, now come to some interesting patterns about cubes. Look at children. The first interesting pattern is adding consecutive odd numbers. We know that odd numbers are 1, 
थ्री फाइव लाइक दैट नाउ लेट इज गिवन टू आर दो वन वन क्यूब इज वन नाउ लेट इज कम टू द नेक्स्ट अदर देन वन इज थ्री थ्री नेक्स्ट कमिंग और नंबर इज फाइव लेट इज आर दो थ्री प्लस फाइव बिकम एट एट इज द क्यूब इज है टू क्यूब Two cube value is a. Now observe the next coming up. Our number is seven. Seven plus nine plus eleven become twenty-seven. That is the cube number. He is having three cube. Three cube is equal to twenty-seven. Now observe one thing here. Two consecutive odd numbers are add together. It gives the two cube. And next three. Consequently, all numbers are add here. That leaves the three cube. In the same way, now let us find the six cube by using this adding consequently numbers. See children here, what is given? Six cube. Now let us find the six cube. Observe here, the five cube number is eight with the twenty nine. Now start from after the twenty nine odd number. After twenty nine, which number is there? Thirty one. From thirty one, we can write here six odd numbers. Thirty one, including thirty one. Now let us write six odd numbers. Thirty one plus thirty three plus thirty five plus thirty seven plus thirty nine plus forty one. Okay. Now let us. children now come to next part next part is like this subtraction of two cubes see here q cube minus 1 cube we can write we can get the answer for this question by using this pattern this is a new pattern now observe the two is a number that is add with one initially any number is there in this place that is add with one okay one plus two That is multiplied with what is there in the space number. Here one is there, so write here one into this is two is there, no? That number is multiplied by three. Now observe again here any number present in this place that is add with one. Okay, here two is there, two is there that is add with one. That number is multiplied with which number is there in this place? Here one is there that multiplied with one, and the number is multiplied by three. This is because of this is a cube. Okay. Now get answer for this question. Now observe here addition and multiplication is there. Now let us do first multiplication according to Bourdieu's rule. What the Bourdieu's rule says? Break it off. See and listen carefully. Bourdieu's means. Break it off. Division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. According to this rule, in the problem, the four operations are there. There are four fundamental operations. 
fractions are made. Now let us do first division. According to this, first let us do a division. Next, multiplication. Next, addition. The last, subtraction. By using this rule, we can conclude here like this. Now let us do multiplication. 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. 6 plus 1 becomes 7. Now let us check if this answer is right or wrong for this. 2 subtraction. 2 cube value is 8. Okay, minus. 1 cube value is 1. 8 minus 1, it is how much? 7. Yes. Our answer is right. Now let us check the second example. Here what is there? 3 cube minus 2 cube is there. Now let us write the first pattern. Any number is there in, play, in this place that must have a 1. So 1 plus 3. That is multiplied by this number. Which number is there? Write the same number. 2 is there here. Write here 2. Into 3. This is a cube. That's why right here write 3. Now let us do first this operation. Do multiplication first after addition. 3 twos are 6. 6 threes are 18. 18 plus 1 become 90. Our answer is 90 according to this pattern. Now let us check. This is right or wrong. 3 cube is 27. 2 cube is 8. Now let us subtract. 8 in 27 it is 19. Children, do the last number problem 4 cube minus 3 cube by using this pattern yourself. Now come here textbook questions. This first question is 7 cube minus 6 cube. That is given under the heading. Try this. Now let us do this problem by using this pattern. Yes, I already told you which number is there in this place that must be added 1. S O P 1 plus 7. Next, the number is multiplied by which number is there in this place? Write the number here. That number is multiplied with 3. This number is multiplied with 3. This is because this is a cube. Okay. Now let us do. 6 3s are 18. 18 7s are how much? 126. 126 plus 1 become 127. See children here. Now here do the problem without the cube of 7 and without the cube of 6. Now let us do this problem by using this interesting pattern. Now let us check our answer is right or wrong by using the cubes. 7 cube value is 343. Okay. And 6 cube value is how much? 216. Now let us subtract your both 216 is subtract in 343 that is 127. S. Our answer is right. Children, by using this interesting factor, there are two remaining problems out there in your this try this heading. Do those two yourself. Okay, children. Now write this. Children, now let us study about cube and their prime factors. See children, now let us go into first number and their prime factors. See here, 4 is a number. Their prime factors are 2 into 2. Children, you already heard the word factors and the process factorization. Factorization is a process of writing the given number into Multiplying of two or more numbers. Factorization is a method or a process of writing the given number simply two or more. Multiplying of two or more numbers. Here four is the number that is write as two into two. Simply we write like that. The bigger number is write in the form of a 
smallest number, the smaller numbers are multiplied together. Now we see here 6 is a number, that is right, is also like 2 into 3. Number and then prime factors. Prime factors. And listen here, prime is the word is there. Prime means the number is the number that is divided by only one and itself. Not it is divided by more than one and itself. The number which is divided by one and itself only. Such are called prime numbers. Two is the number that divide one and itself only. Three is the number that divide one and itself. Listen, four is not a prime number. It is a composite number. Four is divided by one, two and itself only. Such are called composite numbers. Listen children, all of you. Listen carefully here. Prime factor. Factor is a process of writing. Factor is a number. Factorization means is a process of writing to give a number into multiplying of two or more numbers. But the, we have to choose the number is a prime. Prime means the number is divided by one and itself only. Keep all of you in your mind and then do the problems here. See now. Q and their prime factors. Now let us come to the Q. 4 is number. 4 Q value is 64. Now let us write 64 in terms of the factors like this. In terms of factors like 64. Now start with first 2. Divide this number by using 2. 2 3 is a 6. 2 2 is a 4. Now let also Choose and here 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 is remaining. Let me come 12. 2 6 are 12. Now let us take uh, again choose 2. 2 8 are 16. 2. How much is possible? 2 4 are 8. Now 2 2 is a lastly 2 ones are 2. For this problem, how many 2 are there here? Here 2 is 3 times. From here 2 3 times. 2 2 into 2 cube. 64 is right as 2 cube into 2 cube. Now observe here. Number Q for Q. And the prime factors is also in the form of a Q. 2 Q here also 2 Q. Now here only 2 is there here 2 Q. From this what we can do here? The number Q is also a factors, prime factors. What we written here is a prime factors here also takes the Q values. Say for example 6. 6 is the number. The prime factors of the 6 are 2 into 3. Prime factors are 2 into 3. Now let us check the Q. 6 Q value is 216. Whether this number takes 2 Q or 2 Q into 3 Q or not. By using factorization method. Children, see here the process of writing the given number into multiplying of two or more numbers like this. This method is called factorization method. Now let us first start with 2. 2 ones are 2. Here 1 is there, no? Take 0, that becomes 16. 2 is a 16. Now start with 2. 2 5s are 10. 2 4s are 8. Now 2. 2 2 is a 4. 1 is remaining. 2 7 is a 14. Now observe here. Taken 2 is not possible. Now let us go to another fact. Prime number 3. 3. 3 home is a possible. 3 9 is a 27. Yes. Now 3 3 is a 9. Now 3 1 is a 3. Observe here. How many numbers are 2 here? 3. Now let us write 2 Q. Observe here, 3 present or 3 coming here 3 times. That's why that is written as 3 to the power of 3. Observe here, the number prime factors, the number takes the Q, the prime factors also takes the Q. Prime factors also takes the Q value. Now, Six cube is equal to 216 that is written as 2 cube into 3 cube by using the simple factorization method. 6 cube is equal to 216. The prime factors are here 2 cube and 3 cube. 2 cube into 3 cube. From this we conclude like this. Each prime factor appears 3 times in its cube. Each 
interesting pattern about the Q, such as guessing the Q unit place value by seeing the number and Q and their prime factors. I hope that all of you understood very well. We will discuss the remaining concept of this chapter in your next class. Thank you.